Don't fear anything. Refuse to fear. Have attitude of success. Your attitude will determine your attitude will determine your attitude. How high you go in life. Have that I can do mentality. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. For there is going to be new wine and new oil. There's going to be wine, new wine and oil. That's the, the supply of the anointing without measure. The anointing of his own. The ability of God. The anointing is the ability of God working in man to do extraordinary things. When the anointing comes upon your life, you become a superman. And I tell you what, the year 2011, because of this oil, this new oil that is coming upon your life today, not tomorrow, you, you'll be so influential in your life. You will be full of power. In your place of work, you'll be so influential. Promotion will force itself into your life. You didn't hear that. Promotion will force itself into your life. Maybe you've stuck in that position for many years. Today, the lifting power of God has come. The anointing. The anointing doesn't care who, who hates you or who likes you. The anointing comes to tear down mountains and then the trees of the field will be clapping hands for you as you cut through. You are different. No witchcraft for you. No enchantment for you. No cursing for you. As they curse you, so shall God be blessing you. As they curse you, but so shall the Lord be lifting you up. When they pull you down, as they pull you down, you come up with a thrust. Shut! And then you go up. Praise the Lord Jesus. That is you. That is the life that we live. You cannot conquer us. You cannot stop us. Nobody can stop you. When you put your gaze on, refuse to give up. Refuse to give because God has given you a fresh anointing. The anointing to tear down mountains. You know what? The Lord told me, whatever you want to do in the year 2011, go and do it. I've supplied you with grace. And when he says to one, he says to all. Prophecy is given to profit with all. You know, God did not tell me, go and tell the church. I know what to say to you and what was meant for me. He spoke to me. He you knows you know I'm the pastor here. He doesn't have to repeat. Can I tell you something? God has entrusted me as a pastor with your lives to be the architect of your lives. By the grace that He has given me, I look at your life and I say, in the year 2020, I see the man Andrew. Reigning in the IT world, I see him controlling this amount of money. I see him making such an impact in the kingdom of God. And then I start praying in the spirit based on that. When I handle somebody, when I take somebody gamble, I say, Father, gamble. Is the answer to the hurting world in Congo. Gambo is the answer to the women of Congo that are being raped day in, day out. Then I start praying. The resources are supplied. The right people are aligned to him. Yet every structure, every facet that he needs is already supplied. And I see you 2015 being the voice of nations far and near. Praise the Lord Jesus. So the year 2011 will cause you to move at a supernatural speed, divine speed. You know what? Men will try to touch your jacket, to push you back. But because of the anointing, they'll be left with a piece of the cloth. Just to show that you passed. We are different. The sun knows you're different. The moon knows you're different. 
the stars they can even fight for you i told you yesterday start fought for a man of god in the old testament where they did not have grace stars the stars of heaven see the star of jesus came directing the wise men the, not three wise men nobody said there were three the bible doesn't say there were three the star of jesus from the east directed the wise men to where he was you have a star and you are a star you are a star in life see there that is the heavenly bodies they watch over you you are not alone even you realize you are only the only one in a certain environment don't say you are alone you are the majority see what people might want to push you down and say you nothing don't listen to that voice listen to the voice of god hey when they i told you when they push you down something will thrust you up you got it it's yours the problem is when you start crying when you start saying well i don't know i don't know i don't know you know you know today special grace has come upon your life special ability has come upon your life where they called you not my people the same place they will say this is the guy that we wanted but initially they say they don't want you you are of god <laughs> you know, I, I know about the way god works you know when god realizes people don't see the blessing that is in you he will carry you to another place you are special to god you are too special to god to be kicked around put value in. god has you are you are bought with a price the value that god paid for your life is his own life he paid his own life that is how special you are to god he gave his life for you he bought you with his own life not with gold and silver mm -mm. with his own what he bought you so that is how important you are to no man can kick you around when you buy something that is precious gamble you treasure it you don't buy a car to go and burn it you don't buy a house to pull it down god has bought you because you are special to him think that way talk that way walk that way pray that way pray with that understanding that i'm special i'm special to god this man may say otherwise but i am special and i know it like i know my way hey i know it men can go sit and put you down they can kick you around but you say i'm special you can do nothing about it i am special of God and God treasures me I am the focal point of God's love everything about heaven is focused on me I am God's special man I am like his like his what? his eyeball I am the apple of his what? I am tattooed on his palm tattooed there that means you cannot remove me from him when a man is tattooed he dies with the tattoo it becomes part of his, his cells and the bible says he has tattooed us and names on his wall that means every time he sees me every time he thinks about me what is man that you are so mindful of him that means the mind of god is full of judah i don't know about you but the mind of god is in the year 2011 i, I, I don't have sleepless nights about 2011 i just sleep well i'm just saying this for lack of words that the year 2011 is a year of tremendous tremendous growth and expansion Thank you. I'd like to pray with you now as we come to the close of this program. So if you're not born again, if you have never received Christ, 
this is the hour, this is the opportunity for you to receive Christ in your life and receive new life and receive His Spirit. I'd like you to pray this prayer after me. If you have never known Christ, if you have never received it, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word this day. I receive you in my heart. I declare you as my Lord and my Savior. I'm a new creation. I'm born again. My sins are washed away. I have received the remission of sin. I'm a child of God. I'm a new creation. I belong to the family of God.